first batch. Oh boy. Oh heck yeah. Look at that bad boy sizzle. Mm-hmm. What's up, folks? What's up, folks? What's up, folks? This is Big Don from Big Don's Kitchen. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another video. We are here today, another day in my beautiful kitchen, folks. We're about to do some cooking. I actually feel fellas I haven't cooked in a long time. It's only been a week. I don't know. I, don't know. I guess I only did one video last week. Um, yeah. yeah. Anyway, it just feels so much longer. Yeah, you know, it's not like I can do more videos. The only time I get a chance to do a video is on the weekends. All right, so today's Sunday, Easter Sunday. Happy Easter to uh, one and all out there in our uh, YouTube land, right? Hope all is well. You know, may the dear Lord bless you, you know, to see many, many more Easters and so on and so forth. So anyway, welcome to the channel. Welcome to another video. This is Big Don and the Big Don's Kitchen. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment on the video. Hit that notification bell. And, um, you know, uh, yeah, hit that post notification bell, uh, show your boys some support and, um, you know, and enjoy this video. Yeah. That's all I got to say. Anyway, in my kitchen today, cooking. So what's on the menu today? You might want to ask, right? So we are doing something simple today, right? We're going to do, um, you know, a simple Jamaican dish, Jamaican dinner, typical Jamaican dinner. So rice on peas, um, Google peas, right? With some mixed vegetables. Uh, some fried chicken, but anyway, this isn't any kind of regular fried chicken, right? This is gonna be socks fried chicken, all right? From Colors TV, big up Colors and in crew, all right? I did Color Smith coconut dumpling, a couple of videos, um, a while ago. Uh, my wife also did something like that, all right? Today is gonna be rice and peas with socks fried chicken, all right? We're gonna see how that turns out, all right? So that's what's in the menu today. So, hope y'all enjoy the video, right? And um, let's get cooking, folks. All right, so I have the um, this, the Google peas on the stove already, all right? I've, it's been on there for the past, like, 30 minutes or so. Let me check and see if it's soft. Here we go. They're getting cooked. Let me see. The, um... Oh yeah, shoot, them gungo peas are cooked already. So what I need to do now, add my coconut milk, my seasoning, add rice to that, and we're good to go. So stay tuned for that, folks. All right, folks, so <clears throat> time for the rice. We gotta add the rice to the pot. We need, um. Let me wash out my measuring cup. All right, so we're gonna need one, two, three, four, all right, four and a half, four and a half cups of rice. And let's get it washed.
Yeah. They say you're supposed to wash your rice until all the white, the starch, all that stuff dissipates. So I usually wash my rice about three or four times. Make sure it's nice and clean. All right. I think she ready. Ready to get her on the pot. All right, so next thing we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take this rice. All right, got my bumble peas. Cook already. Go add a can of coconut milk. Add a coconut milk. Some seasoning. The black pepper. Just a bit of salt. Piece of time. I want some of that frozen. Oh, wait, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. That seasoning got up in my nostril. I want some of that my frozen natural seasoning. Onion, peppers, oops, garlic. Natural seasoning in there. Hold that for a few minutes. Let it simmer. All right, folks. So it's time to get this rice in the pot. Well, the pot is boiling. Turn that stove down some. Where's my um, my spoon? There we go. Let's get that rice in there. Yep, yeah, boy. Uh huh. And it's on now. Oops, that bad boy, a quick stir. <clears throat> and we're gonna cover that over and let it sit and steam. Yep, and turn that, that heat real low. I'll turn down low. Actually, I'm going to leave it like that for about two minutes on medium heat. Then I'm going to turn down um, low heat for the rest of the uh, for the duration of the cooking of the rice. All right, so. All right, folks. So, we, there's some oil in the pot, right? I'm just going to add some more to it. Just don't have enough in there to fry this chicken. All right, sucks fried chicken, so. Add some more oil to that. Yeah, I think that's about a good portion in there. Yeah, that should drown the chicken. Yeah. You're going to be drowning the chicken today. Hope these chicken learn how to swim. All right, so I'm going to let that heat up. Yep, the stove is on. Let that heat up, and then we get our chicken fried. And mind you, 
Um, let me show you something. There you go, folks. The chicken seasoned up already. I see no chicken from this morning early. You know, so it's been soaking in the seasoning, right, for the past going to scree five, uh, four or five hours. All right, so I got to get my flour batter and um, and we with some seasoning in there and get that going. All right, folks, so here we go. Let's get our flour going for the, for the chicken, for the fried chicken, for the socks fried chicken. So we need... um. All right, so we need flour. One, two, three. All right, so we use four cups of flour. Four cups of flour. See what we're gonna need. This, this is um baking powder. One, two, three. Three spoons of baking powder. Half a tablespoon, half a teaspoon, that's our tablespoon of salt. And we're going to need a, um, just a couple of dabs of cayenne pepper. That's all we need, just a couple of dabs of cayenne pepper. A couple of dabs of black pepper. And my um, natural dry rub, right? No salt in this one. Just not my uh, dry spices. I'm gonna put a lot of that in there. And that's it. So mix it all up. And then we're gonna get a chicken in there. Mind you, a chicken already got seasoning on there, so it's gonna add to the flour, the flour batter. And just coat the chicken. Just rub it all in.
All right, there we go, folks. It's nice and coated. And this, I'm going to use my gravy later. This is up for the gravy. So, um, put some garlic, got some garlic in the pot right now. There we go. Ooh, look like that pot is ready. Yeah. Let it sit and saute in the pot there. Give the pot some flavor. Let's turn that heat down some. Oh, you don't want that sucker burning. Yeah, turn that sucker down. Let's see what's going on in the chicken pot here. Okay. They're coming along. Mm -hmm. All right. Let that sit for a while longer. Folks, I think it's time to turn the chicken. Look, they're nice and brown on one side. And flip them. All right, first flip. Let's cover that back over. folks it is time to take the first batch of chicken out of the pot
Yep, answer ready. Yep. All right, that's our first batch of chicken. I'm about to get a second batch in there. So stay tuned. All right, folks. So, um, going to change a bit of a gear here. All right, we're going to do some bacon. All right, we're going to incorporate some bacon goods to our fried chicken or socks fried chicken on our um, Google peas and our rice. All right, so we're going to make here today, ladies and gentlemen, this is um, corn casserole. Right, it's a very simple recipe, right? That um, I got from my auntie. All right, so we have cream style corn. We have two kinds of corn. We have cream style corn and regular corn, cr uh, whole kernel corn. So um, I'm going to incorporate all these together with our um, corn muffin mix. Right, so two containers of corn muffin mix, and um, we have sour cream. Right, sour cream is going to give us some flavor. All right, so, um, and this is a container. We're going to have it in our tinfoil container. You know, we're going to make a large batch because I'm actually going to take this later on to my mama's house. Um, that's going to be dessert later on for Easter dinner. All right, so, um, I'm going to drain the water off this whole kernel. Corn. Drain the water off that one. Oops. Drain the water of this one. And then we're going to add everything to the container. That's number one. Number two. It's going to be a large portion of corn casserole. Green corn goes next. Here we go, and then we're going to put our corn muffin mix. We'll dump that in there with everybody. Second one. Dump that in there too. All right, and then our sour cream. The whole container of sour cream goes in there. And then we're gonna give it a quick mix. Actually, I should mix it in a separate container. Yeah, but too late now. Just make sure you mix in all the um, dry corn muffin mix. We'll put a little bit of sweet sauce in there. A little bit of secret sauce.
I ain't gonna tell you what that is, but it's a secret sauce. Give that a good mix. All right, folks, so that's ready. <clears throat> I got the oven preheated right now. The oven is preheated at 375 degrees. All right, so I'm going to let that heat up, and then I'm going to add our corn muffin to the pot, I mean to the, to the, to the oven. That's a corn casserole, ladies and gentlemen. It's almost there. I'm going to give about about 15 minutes. Until it's cooked all the way. Give it a little test. Go poke it right in the middle. Let's see if it's still moist. Yep, still some moisture there. See all that? Yeah, it's still kind of moist. So, um, we gotta give it some more time. All right. I'm rolling up the progress. All right. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, the corn casserole. Nice and crispy on top. All right, so we have our last batch of chicken, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to remove from the pot. You can see these are nice and golden brown. They're cooked all the way through, nice and crispy. All right, there you go. You heard that sound, folks? That beeping noise, that means that oven is ready. So I'm going to add my um, corn casserole in the oven right now and get that going. Now, that's going to sit in the, um, in the oven for a good 30, 35 minutes, maybe 45 minutes until that um, batter is cooked all the way. <clears throat> Hello, folks. This is Big Don coming at you from Big Don's Kitchen. Just want to chit-chat with you for a little bit, you know, um, you know. Sipping on some wine, you know, Merlot, right? <clears throat> Merlot, mixed with a little bit of ginger wine, right? Y'all know what it is, y'all Jamaican people, y'all Jamaican folks out there know what ginger wine is. So, ginger wine with a little bit of, with some, a little bit of ginger wine with some Merlot red wine. Still, I'm just sipping this Sunday. Happy Easter, right? That's all I want to say to you folks out there. Um, you know, it's a special day today. Right, oh, everybody, um, you know, that goes to church on Sundays. We went to church today, right? Um, worship the Lord, right? Thank you for the blessings and, and all the wonderful things that He has done for us throughout the year, right? And giving thanks and um, praying that He gives us the longer life for many, many years to come. And um, pray that we see another Easter, you know, next year, right? So, you know, this is Big Don, you know, from Big Don's Kitchen, just, you know, a little word of encouragement, you know. Continue to love one another, stay well, unite with each other, and sip on your wine, all right? That's all I got to say. All right, folks, it's that time. The boat almost done. All right, rice done, chicken finished fry. Let's make some gravy, all right? Got my natural seasoning, my pudding pond right here. So we go. And then pop the go. Now for the gravy. I'm 
also going to add some mixed vegetables. Incorporate some mixed vegetables with that. sit there and simmer for a few minutes. All right, folks, it's starting to get some seasoning in this gravy pot. Everything I boil up, get some seasoning in there. Some spices, I meant I should say. Some spices in there. Some ginger garlic pimento. Get some of that in there. Got the pot flavor up. Some maggot seasoning. My game was done. We need to get some more. Some black pepper. Little bit of cayenne pepper. Not much in there. Just a smidge of cayenne pepper. Some browning. We need some jerk sauce in there. Some Sasson Goya. What else? A little bit of salt. The salt. And some secret sauce. Some ketchup. Some ketchup. Let's go with a quick star. Give it a quick taste. Mm-hmm. What's missing? What's missing? What's missing? I think we're good. Oh. One thing that's missing. Chicken bouillon cube. Put one other thing there. All right, and look what I'm about to do, for, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Watch what I'm about to do. I'm about to do something very special. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> it sucks fried chicken. In the pot. With a gravy. Got steamed on. Mm-hmm. Socks fried chicken. 
You make it a big Don's fried chicken. Yep, get all that sauce on there. Make that chicken nice and moist. This is Sox Fried Chicken done the Big Don's way. So, I should put a little bit more water in there because all that um that flour that's on there is gonna suck up all the um all the sauce. That's a little bit of water in there, and we're good to go. And we're gonna let that sit, ladies and gentlemen, for a few minutes, and then we're gonna turn off the um the stove. Let it sit for about a minute or so. Hello folks, hello folks, this is the Big Don from the Big Don's Kitchen. Make sure my mic is on, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're at the end of our uh, video, right? The food done, the board line, all right? Everything ready, you know? So cheers, all right? Merlot and ginger wine. Yeah, so um, the menu today, all right? We have some gungo peas. Um, gunga peas on rice, sock fried chicken, done the Big Don's way, right? With some mixed vegetables in the gravy, right? <clears throat> and what I did was I added the fried chicken to the gravy, let it simmer down, let it cook down, and this is the result, right? See? All that sauce on there. Got two pieces of chicken on there. Nice crispy, a little moist. Gungo peas, rice with a mixed veggie. See, mixed veggie, corn, peas, carrots, and all that stuff on there. All right, so that's what's for dinner today, folks. Mm hmm. Nice and flavorful. Piece of chicken. Crispy and moist at the same time. With gravy, the sauce, and all that stuff in there, incorporate. Very nice flavor. Well, the spices. Still steam coming out of chicken. Mm, nice and moist, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, so good. Now, peace. Yeah, cooked all the way, all the way through. Still got a little bit of um, crunchiness on the meat. So yeah, folks, that's dinner. Oh, you can taste that coconut milk and that rice. Gunga peas. Nothing but loving here, right here, folks. Mm. Food for the soul, right? Today's Easter. Cook some food. Love your family. Every family you love them, right? Celebrate a special day, right? <clears throat> and this is Big Don's Kitchen. This is Big Don going to celebrate. I got my um my corn casserole in the oven right there. That's not done yet. 
All right, I'm gonna give it about another 15, 20 minutes to finish. You know, but that's gonna go to my mom's house. That's dessert later for dinner. Eat some dinner at my mom's house. All right, so yeah. I will have it, folks. Sox fried chicken done the Big Don's way with some gunga, right, gunga peas. Gunga peas on rice. All right. That's for dinner today. Yes. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment on the video. Hit that notification bell. All right. Show your boy some support. All right. So until next time, stay well, stay blessed.